Should architects wear doctor's coats? Hi, welcome to this pilot episode about healthcare architecture. I am Elke Miedema and I would like to change the way you look at design and question whether architects should wear doctor's coats. So most people know that architects design homes, but we also design your workspace or your school. And actually most buildings around you are probably designed by an architect. In my work, I focus on designing healthcare buildings, like hospitals, psychiatric facilities, and primary care centers. I want to know how I can, as an architect, make people feel better. Because buildings and cities influence our health every day. They can make us sick, feel stressed, but they can also make us feel healthy and happy. So how did I get interested in this? Some 10 years ago, during a lunch break, I read something about the pink prison. As part of a study, someone painted an entire Texas prison pink. The idea at the time was that pink lowers the heart rate of prisoners and therefore probably also reduces the aggression. All walls, sheets and clothing were painted pink and within a short time the aggression dropped in the prison. Since then, I asked myself if painting the prison has such a positive effect, in what way could other parts of architecture influence people positively, especially sick people? I found out that Florence Nightingale, who is mostly known as the first professional nurse, also found the importance of architecture for healing. She released patients from their chains, moved them from the compact, moist and dark basement into large rooms with more light and fresh air. I also found that architects, just before the medical revolution, were wearing doctors' coats because they were so convinced that their profession could heal patients. My interest became more concrete when one of my colleagues pointed me to a study by Roger Ulrich. In a hospital, Ulrich studied two patient groups recovering from a similar operation. Half of them were placed in a room with a view on a brick wall from their bed. The other half had a view on nature. The people who could see the nature needed less pain medication and healed much quicker. And as you understand, most new hospitals now have nature in and around their buildings, not only to reduce suffering, but also because it saves the hospital a lot of money when a patient heals quicker. That study opened many doors for others to follow. Now we know that patients heal quicker when they have their own room with a view on nature and a place for family to stay over. It is best if there is good noise insulation, daylight and is close to the nurse station. We're not nearly finished finding out more. For my own research, I studied a hospital that opened in 2015. I studied how the planners, health carers and architects thought they could raise the health of the patient and also the health of the whole community. They agreed that to make that happen, they really needed to work together with the local community. They came up with some ideas. They thought the hospital should have kitchens. In these kitchens, people could learn how to cook healthier meals. They thought the hospital should have one big reception for both primary care and specialist care. With one reception area and two organizations in one building, everyone would come to the right place. They also thought people should be motivated to take the stairs. So the stairs were designed centrally in the building with nice views. But of course, elevators were always close by. They also thought the hospital should be visible for all people entering and leaving that part of town to be accessible and to help people think about their health in their everyday life. By having the community as part of the design conversation, they were able to understand their needs much better. Also, this helped the community members to learn more about their health and it helped them to be connected to their neighbors. So, should architects wear doctor's coats? Maybe, maybe not, but I will continue to find ways in which I, as an architect, can contribute to healthier lives for all of us.